Writing can be an incredibly lonely practice. Even if you do get published, a lot of the people that you're working with are essentially your boss in the process. And so it can make it quite difficult to feel that sense of community. And that is where writing groups come in. I've been a part of my writing group for almost two years now, and it has been invaluable to me for motivation, for accountability, for commiseration if needed, and as just a group of people that will celebrate the successes and mourn the losses of being a writer with me. I get a lot of questions about my writing group, so I wanted to make a video all about writing groups because there are a few different types, and depending on your circumstances and what it is that you want, you may or may not benefit from a writing group that looks like the one I'm in. So in this video, I wanna talk about what are the different types of writing groups, how do you know which one is right for you, and how can you find a writing group? For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I'm a romance author based in the UK. My third book, You've Got Chain Mail, is coming out on the 15th of August from One More Chapter, a division of HarperCollins. Pre-order links are in the description as always. And I could not have written, well, I don't think I could have written You've Got Chain Mail in the time that I did without my writing group. So let's talk about what my writing group looks like as opposed to others. There are three main types of writing groups that I wanna talk about. Of course, there are gonna be other types, I'm sure, anomalies, outliers, whatever, but there's three main types and that's what I'm gonna talk about today because that's the majority of what you will encounter and probably the most useful unless you're in a very specific situation. And those types of writing groups are networking groups, sprint groups, and critique groups. Now they might call themselves different things, but in terms of the function of those groups, those are the main three that I see. A networking group does what it says on the tin, right? It is for networking. It is for connecting with other writers. There may be workshops or learning or whatever as a framework for that networking, but what you are getting out of it is that connection and learning from other people, learning from and connecting with your peers. The second type is sprint groups. This is what I'm a part of, and this is groups that essentially just write together. It basically amounts to body doubling, if you're familiar with that term, which is just doing something alongside some someone else for accountability purposes. It can just really help with motivation. And then the last type is critique group, which again, does what it says on the tin, you're critiquing each other's work. The format for this might look very different depending on the group. It might be online, it might be in person, it might be asynchronous, so you're doing the critiques and then sending them to someone, or it might be live and in person where you have to actually say it to the other person. Again, lots of different formats, but the function is actually reading and critiquing each other's work. Now, hearing me describe those types of writing groups, you might very clearly be able to identify that's the one that I want. But you might not, or you might be thinking, oh, I want all of those things. In which case, I wanna give you some questions to ask yourself to help determine which kind of writing group is going to be best for you. Because you really do need to know what kind of writing group you're looking for before you start looking for one so that you can find the best one for you that's gonna best complement your writing practice. So the first question I want you to ask yourself is, when is it that I'm noticing the need for a writing group? What part of your writing practice is triggering that? Is it because you can't find the motivation to write and you wish that you just had a little bit more accountability? Is it when you're trying to edit your own work and you're thinking, I have no idea, I'm way too close to this, I need another set of eyes? Is it when you have questions about the publishing process or about people's writing habits and you just don't have anyone that you can ask those questions of? Understanding where you're feeling the pain points actively in your day-to-day -day writing practice is going to give you the type of group that's gonna best meet you where you're at. Yes, it would be great to have all of those things in a writing group for some people, but for you, what is the lack that you're feeling? Let's solve that need first. The second question that I want you to ask yourself is about time investment. How much time do you actually have to give to a writing group outside of your actual writing practice? This is the number one reason that I am in a sprint group and I am not in either of the other two writing group types because I do not have time to give to a writing group outside of the time I'm actually spending writing. With networking groups, you have to be able to travel to and attend and follow up on the events that are happening that are allowing you to connect with people. For critique groups, you need maybe time to travel to actual meetings if it's happening in person, but either way, you're gonna need time to read and give a meaningful critique to other people's work, usually multiple people's work. And that's a big time investment. And for a lot of people, you just don't have the time to do that in a meaningful way. You could do it, but it would take away from the time that you would actually be spending writing. Now for you, that might be really valuable. It might be worth that sacrifice. But if you're 
already really limited in terms of how much time you have, it's definitely a factor to consider. And then finally, I want you to be super, super honest with yourself about your appetite for feedback and critique. Critique groups can be rough. And I don't mean that they're mean. I just mean that it's very difficult to make yourself vulnerable to a group of your peers who will all have their own subjective opinions and perspectives and to ask for feedback from them. Some critique groups are going to be more structured in terms of how that feedback is delivered. Some will be less structured and you will get whatever people have to give to you. Either way, it's kind of scary. <laughs> so be honest with yourself about your appetite for that. If you're working with an agent or an editor already, do you want to add in another round of critique? Even if you do want another round of critique, where are you at emotionally in your writing journey at the moment? Are you in a place where you are going to be receptive to that and it's not going to discourage you, it's going to motivate you? It may be that the only way to find out is to try and that's fine, do that, but I want you to try your best to be honest with yourself before you go into looking for a writing group. So now you know about types of writing groups, you maybe hopefully have a better idea of what type of writing group is gonna be best for you. Let's talk about how to find those. The first place, uh, and I don't mean this to sound as condescending as it's going to, is Google it. <laughs> but I know that's really unhelpful advice because sometimes you just don't actually know what to Google. So what I want you to do is I want you to, first of all, figure out whether you want something local, like you want to actually in person meet with other writers, or if you want something online, if you want something regular versus if you want a one-off event. And then I want you to search for that accordingly. If you're thinking about the whole local versus virtual thing, I want you to obviously first think about where you live, because if you live in a small town, then you're going to be very limited limited in terms of local options. But I also want you to think about what you want from that group. And that's regardless of the type of group that it is, if it's networking, if it's critique, if it's sprints, though in-person sprints are less common. Do you only want to be talking to and working alongside people who are within the same genre as you, who are within the same age range as you? Maybe you want to find a writing group specifically for queer writers or for women or for people of color. There are a lot of these writing groups, especially if you're in a big city. But if you're not in a big city, then you might have to sacrifice that in-person experience for something that's going to be more specifically relevant to you. So your first tip is to Google it, but I want you to Google the specifics of what it is that you want. So if I lived in London and I wanted to work alongside romance writers, I might search for romance writing group London. But if I'm in my town that I'm in now, I know I'm probably not going to find a dedicated romance writing group. So I will just search writing group insert name of my town here. That's going to be good for the local options. If you want to find an online one, then I would just replace the place name with the word online and that's going to get you better results there. I would also encourage you to head over to your mother's favorite social media app, Facebook, and do a search there. A lot of writing groups will have Facebook groups that are sort of their hubs for communication just because it's a useful forum. So even if you don't use Facebook a lot, I would encourage you to search there as well. And that's for both online and in-person stuff. I found my writing group through Facebook. Another thing you can search for is writing and literary festivals. This is going to be mostly relevant for the networking writing group types, but a lot of festivals will have either meetups during the actual festival or even regular meetups beyond just the confines of the festival date for writers in the area where the festival takes place. So for example, I'm not too far away from Bournemouth in the UK and there's a Bournemouth writing festival and there are some meetups that happen throughout the year as part of that festival. So that is a good networking opportunity for me to go and meet people. So that's your first tip is to just search online for things. Your second tip is to leverage your network. So if you are working with an agent and or editor, maybe ask them if they've got other writers that they can connect you with, ask other writer friends that you have. But I also want you to think about your online network. A lot of times your favorite creators or platforms will even have their own stuff. So for example, the podcast, The Shit No One Tells You About Writing, they do an annual or semi-annual beta reader matchup, which is essentially forming little mini critique groups. So if people are advertising it, great. If they're not, ask in the comments. Maybe they'll know something they can recommend something or maybe other people in their community will know something and can help you out. So don't just leverage your in-person network, also leverage 
the online network that you're creating. That's what the social network is for, right? And then the last tip that I have for you for finding writing groups is to ask local librarians and booksellers, especially librarians. They will know about any local writing groups because they're probably hosting them. Same thing with booksellers. They might be hosting them or they might just know about them. A lot of people who are into books are also into writing or know people who are. And so even if they don't have the answer, they'll be able to connect you with someone who has the answer. They're very knowledgeable people and they love to help people out, especially when it comes to books and reading and writing. I wanna leave you with one last really important piece of advice, which is if you can't find what you're looking for in terms of a writing group, start one. And I know that might sound really daunting, but you don't need a lot in order to start a writing group. If you want a networking group, all you have to do is get a few people who wanna meet up for coffee. If you want a critique group, all you need is one or two other people who want to swap writing with each other. If you want a sprint group, all you need is a couple of people who are willing to hop on a Zoom call together and do some sprints, especially as you're exploring your networks organically, or if you start going to something with a networking opportunity like a literary festival. Once you start talking to people and creating those relationships, it's up to you to push that organically into the writing group that you're looking for. And honestly, that's how most writing groups start is you've just got a couple of people who have decided, hey, we're going to do this together. And then word gets out because people within the writing community are so desperate for that community and that's how they grow. So don't be afraid to be the one that starts it. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any other tips about finding writing groups, if you've got one that you're in and you love it, let me know in the comments how you found it. Like I said, I found mine on Facebook and it's an online one, but especially for those of you that have in-person writing groups, I'd love to know how you uh, made that come together. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.